Good morning, happy Monday, Meditation Monday. I'm going to start the week with something that will probably be quite resonant with you at the moment. It's where, where we are on the ascension process, we are being presented with a huge amount of information, a huge amount of choice, decisions. You know, the, the old saying, decisions, decisions, what pathway do I take? What information's right for me? Um, which perspective is correct for, from, a, from a heart-centered perspective? And a lot of the information and a lot of the situations that are being presented are, they, they are designed specifically to create volatility and, and it's for want of a better word it's the end of our commitment to the era of polarity once we're through the other side of this gateway once we've navigated the transition that we are currently going through the the the, the fast moving gateway between 3d and 5d once we're on the other side of this and I know this might be quite difficult for quite for, for people to to think about, it, but I think about it a lot. Is um, we will not necessarily have to make the decisions or 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 choose between the the, 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 the two conflicting sort of like pools of thought and information any further because we will have moved into a heart centered consciousness. This is what this wrangling. This is what this turbulent period of upheaval is all about it's about moving from ego into heart so when making a decision or being presented with a situation that is for want of a better word emotionally pro very pro provocative the best way to navigate it that I've I've encountered so far and and believe you and me I, I get put in these positions as many times as you do I hear something or I read something or I see something which pokes it, it, it it's like it's like a it's like prodding an animal in a cage with a stick eventually you'll go you're going to get a reaction that's where I feel a lot of us are at the moment we're constantly being provoked to respond in a way which is angry it's it's emotionally volatile and that I've, and this is my only my personal perspective that does not serve us okay sometimes in many cases we have a righteous anger for the injustices that we are seeing around us there are many people that we can see that we know that we are that we may love that we are associated associated with that are are going they're they're really going through it they're suffering but when you when push comes to shove when it comes to solutions for situations and for problems that we are facing anger is not the key love is the way forward so what i want to do this morning is just a little visualization i use myself when i'm put in these situations to change the perspective to change the viewing angle and so it's quite simply how to step into a position of a higher perspective so if you if you if you're able to it always helps if you have a crystal grab a crystal because if you've got a crystal it amplifies the energies and focuses your intention just take a few moments to close your eyes and take a few deep breaths always good to start this way on a monday morning take a deep breath in and breathe out and as you're breathing, focus on your heart centre, breathe into your heart centre. This is the core, this is the focus, the focal point of your ascension process. It is the most powerful tool that you have in your ascension toolbox. So breathe into your heart again. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And on the third breath, see and sense and feel your heart centre, pure white and gold, maybe with a hint of green and pink as well, stretching from shoulder to shoulder. Place your hand on your heart and continue to breathe into it. And as you're doing so, 
in your head, invite Archangel Michael, the angel of courage, the angel of protection, to join you. Now, as you are relaxing, as you are breathing into your heart centre, as you are feeling the illumined presence of Archangel Michael most likely standing to the right hand side of you joining you, think of a situation or it might be a person, anything that is in, involving your attention at this moment in time, it could be something that's been running in your life for a while or it could be a fresh thing that is occurring, something that you are worried about. Bring that into your consciousness and look at the perspective from the pers perspective that you have been, possibly from the point where you have been emotionally triggered by this, where it has challenged you, where it has rattled your cage. And just witness for a moment your energetic attachment to this situation. If you're able to visualise, <clears throat> you might see that there are cords coming from you to the situation. The situation might be a person, it's something that you are involved with. It might be a scene, something that's triggered you in the past that is still going, it's in your fields. Witness your attachment to it energetically. There might be a number of small cords, or it might be one thick cord running from you, most likely from your solar plexus, to the person or the situation. Now this can be any degree of challenge. It could be a life-changing challenge, or it might just simply be a passing ruffle of your feathers. Be aware of your connection to it and your perspective. Now when you are ready, ask Archangel Michael to cut your cords and your energy attachments to this person, to this place, to this scenario, or to this situation. And just watch as he draws his sword and just gently, but very cleanly and with power, brings the sword down through the cords and attachments. And then Archangel Michael is stepping forwards. He is returning energy to the scenario or to the person. And he's also healing the area most likely your solar plexus, where the cord was coming from in your body. Now in this precise moment in time, you are now separate, you are separate from the situation, you are energetically detached. Also standing next to you is a very bright, very high golden version of yourself. This is your highest self. Allow yourself to move and join and merge with this golden version of yourself. He or she may look like you, might be dressed in different clothes, might have an angelic or even a galactic appearance. Some of you may even look like dragons or any other energy format. In this moment, allow yourself to merge with that version of yourself, your highest self. Step into each other, bond and blend. Feel any, feel any anxieties that you have, any worries, or concerns, anything that might be troubling you, occupying your mind, your bodies and your fields, just feel this all completely 
melting away. You are now your highest self. You have merged with this highest aspect of you. Take a few moments to feel that peace, that calm, the higher perspectives that this brings. And take another deep breath into your heart centre. And as you breathe out, just feel how well this version of yourself fits you. I think you will find the fit is perfect. So you and your highest self, you are no longer separate from each other. This is you. Now just take a few moments to view the same scenario, the same person, the same situation or the place again from this new higher vibration. Really tune into this for a few moments. Look at whoever it is that might have offended you whoever might have given you the information, whoever it is that might have scared you or challenged your sovereignty in any way, shape or form. It could be an organisation. It could be a situation that you are experiencing in your life. It could be anything that is going on in the biosphere of your reality. View this from your higher self, your highest perspective. How does the situation or the person or the scenario now feel to you? Now take another deep breath in with your hand on your heart. Breathe into your heart centre. And as you breathe out, now just begin to focus on the soles of your feet. Most, most importantly, your earth star chakra below the soles of your feet. And just consciously ground this vibration in, this highest aspect of you. What has happened to your emotional response or your emotional attachment to the scenario? Does it feel the same? Does it ring the same alarm bells when you focus on it? and just allow yourself to completely relax into this higher vibration. Now from this higher space, from the perspective of your higher self, the situation or whatever you are involved in will have utterly changed format, it will have changed shape. Now the answers and the solutions to every single problem that we are presented with will become readily available from this higher perspective, not from the emotional based and the anger based perspective, but the higher perspective. So use this method of stepping into your higher perspective whenever, or your higher self, whenever things are challenging, whether they're, whenever they're presented to you, which they will be at the moment. This, scenario, this particular period of time is very much designed to challenge us to present us with the, the almost like the final decisions of, you know, which pathway am I truly on? Am I my master self or am I my lower self? Okay, and there are very distinctive, there are very distinctive scenarios rolling out for each choice of soul group at this moment in time. So just take another moment to stay in that higher light. Take another deep breath into your heart centre. This is a powerful exercise on its own. So breathe in. Expand your heart. Breathe out. And just take a few moments to thank Archangel Michael from detaching you from the scenario or the situation. He will come in and cut your cords and attachments to anything that is drawing your energy or your focus or your attention in the wrong direction and keep your energy high, pure and clear. So call on him whenever you need. And just remember, as I've said to you previously, you are your highest self, okay? 
you are your higher self. And one time for luck, you are your higher self. Sending you all lots of love. I hope you have a beautiful start to the week and everything flows smoothly and from the highest perspective possible. See you soon. Bye for now.